Hello guys, how are you all? My name is Harshu Devedi friends and I welcome you back to my video. So as the title indicates, the topic of this video is indoor air pollution. Now before starting with this video friends, I will suggest you to watch two more videos. One is on introduction to environmental pollution. The link of that is given in the description box below. And in the previous video, I have also told you about the constituents in air pollution. So that link is also given in the description box below. So let's start with this video friends before starting with this. If you want to follow me on Instagram, the link of that is also given below friends. So what is basically indoor air pollution? Indoor air pollution means it implies two things. One is home. Second is institution. This institution may also contain a commercial facility. You can very well understand what this home is. Now, what is this institution of the commercial facility? It can be a hospital. It can be a school. It can be a college. It can be a church. It can be an NGO facility. It can be, a, you can say, a township of a big corporation. For example, Oil and Natural Gas Commission, NTPC, SAIL, or you can say Tata Consultancy Services. So these type of organizations have their own townships. So all of these will come in these institutions and commercial facilities. Now what happens friends, that when the pollution is limited to these areas, for example, if it is limited to home, if it is limited to these institutions and commercial facilities, it will become indoor air pollution. That is the places that where you are living, you will find some physical particles, some chemical particles or some biological characteristics of air that are going to cause harm to the indoor environment in which you are living and obviously they are going to harm you also now why this happens we need to refer to those reasons why this thing is happening today friends today is the era of green buildings green buildings are being constructed on a very larger scale what is happening in green buildings we need to conserve energy now by means saying that conserve energy the flow of energy should be less. That is if an AC is working, working inside a room so that the air of the AC should not leave that particular room or building soon. So what you are doing that by making the building more green efficient, more energy efficient, you are in fact reducing the ventilation. And when you are in fact compromising on the perspective of ventilation, you are actually promoting indoor air pollution. How you are promoting it? That I am going to tell you in some amount of time. Now, we are going to realize this indoor air pollution in two perspectives. First of all, we are going to realize it in the perspective of rural areas. Especially in the rural areas of South Asia, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh. What is happening in these rural areas, friends? These people in rural areas are facing the greatest threat from indoor pollution because they are relying on traditional fuels. They are relying on firewood. They are relying on charcoal they are relying on cow dung in rural areas almost all of them have cows and buffaloes these cows are giving their dung that dung is dried and after drying that dung is used in the chulha chulha is where they make food so in this chulha this cow dung or this firewood or this charcoal or coal is burnt and after burning there's a pot above and here the food cooks now what is happening that when this firewood charcoal and cow dung are burning in this thing friends it is emitting a lot of smoke and that the smoke is confined to a particular area because obviously this food is made inside a house that can be a mud house that can be a brick house in a rural area but it is inside a house and now because of that the smoke coming out of this thing is confined to this particular area and the people who are in this particular area are specifically exposed to it now you know that the men go out to work in these traditional areas so obviously women and children are there in this area and when the women and children are there in this area they are particularly exposed to this smoke and that causes you can say an ill effect to these people's health for especially the women and the children so this is one big threat in the rural areas of indoor air pollution now when this smoke is coming out there are many chemical agents in this smoke but four agents are the most dangerous the very first is suspended particulate matter also known as particulates these particulates specifically are two of two types pm 2.5 pm 10 this 2.5 and 10 represents micrometers i have already told about them in the previous video not going to repeat it the next is carbon monoxide now 
द इन इफेक्ट ऑफ कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड आई हेव एक्सप्लेन इन माई प्रेस मीडियो हाउ कॉम कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड अटैचेस इट सेल्फ टू हिमोग्लोबिन then the capacity of hemoglobin to carry oxygen to different parts of the body gets compromised and obviously the person is going to die if he is exposed to higher levels of carbon monoxide then next thing is formaldehyde what is the effects of formaldehyde i will be telling you in some amount of time and then next pollutant is polycyclic organic matter polycyclic organic matter so these are the four most dangerous type of pollutants which is specifically present in indoor air pollution got it friends next we are going to talk about urban areas what is happening in urban areas friends in urban areas the buildings as i have already told you they are more green now when they are more green friends they are tightly sealed and when they are tightly sealed the venue the ventilation is compromised and when this ventilation is compromised then the inside air is not going outside the outside air is not coming inside so this is in and this out so from in the air is not going outside and from outside the air is not coming inside so due to this reduced ventilation the indoor air pollutants are not finding their way outside of the building and that is why they are calling causing indoor air pollution this is because of synthetic materials because of chemical products because of pesticides household care products i am going to tell you one by one the very first type of pollutants in indoor are volatile organic compounds volatile organic compounds now where are you going to found these volatile organic compounds you know friends that we use perfumes axe and other types of perfumes people are nowadays using them a lot these perfumes contain uh, volatile organic compounds then hair sprays are there in order to you know brighten you gel your hair you put in a lot of hair sprays in your hair then there is furniture polish what is this furniture polish many times you will see a new refrigerator new wooden item comes to your home for example a new wooden sofa comes to your home a new wooden you can say furniture table dining table comes to your home now that is freshly polished now you will notice that when these things are coming to your home you are going to have a specific type of smell of that polish actually that smell is volatile organic compounds that can harm your health then a lot of glues are <clears throat> used in the home <clears throat> air fresheners are used in the home you know many times friends you will see that if an area is enclosed for a certain amount of time it gets sealed so in order to remove that uh, sealed smell we put in a lot of air fresheners so these air fresheners are volatile organic compounds they are actually chemicals and if these volatile organic compounds get inside your nostrils they may cause a lot of harm the next thing is moth repellents you know you are okay, you are killing actually mosquitoes you are killing cockroaches inside your home other insects so basically you are using a lot of moth repellents which are also volcanic organic compounds which can harm your health wood preservatives are there so that this uh, mites and demug they cannot you can say hurt your furniture so in that case wood preservatives are used and a lot of these types of products are used now these types of products cause loss they can affect your throat they can affect your eyes they can affect your nose they can prob cause problems in your mouth you can say you if you are exposed to them in a lot of quantity then obviously you will feel nausea and dizziness so these type of things are happening in the long term if you are exposed to them they may even cause to damage your livers and other parts of the body especially the nervous system okay then the next thing is tobacco tobacco is also a cause of threat friends for example if you are smoking indoor if you are sitting inside your home you are smoking then in addition to bringing yourself at harm you are also putting the other family members at risk who are exposed to that particular smoke okay so smoke inside a home smoking inside a home produces a whole lot of harmful chemicals which are carcinogenic they also cause the burning of nose eyes they can cause irritation in the throat they can cause asthma they can reduce your lung function so all of these type of problems can be formed they can be you know a sort of infection in your bronchial tube so all of these things happen due to this tobacco there are a lot of biological pollutants also friends <clears throat> what is this biological pollutant you know near the homes there are many gardens people put a lot of plants inside their home which is actually a good habit but there are some negative effects associated with them for example there are plants in the gardens which may contain pollen these pollen acts as pollutants in this case mites come 
if you are having pets in your home so from in the hair of these pets you will find a lot of fungi bacteria parasites which can affect your health also they can cause allergy to you they can cause asthma to you they can cause hay fever to you so these are the types of problem associated but it is not important that you should not take pets you should, you can take pets if you are taking regular cleaning practices and you know regular cleaning methodologies you are adopting them if you are living in a very clean environment if your pet is clean you are clean then the risk of these biological pollutants gets reduced okay the next pollutant we are going to talk about is formaldehyde what this formaldehyde does where it comes from in the home you see people are normally keeping carpets in their home now these carpets are a big source of formaldehyde there are particle boards in your Home. What these particle boards do? These particle boards actually they are used in the construction of furniture items like dining tables, study tables. You can see sofas. So obviously these particle boards are also a source of formaldehyde. Then next comes insulation foam. Insulation foam are used in a lot of homes, especially in Western countries. You know, insulation foam used is used as a sound absorber. So if you are living in an area where there is a lot of surrounding sound. So basically you, you can use this insulation foam to protect yourself from that sound. Then this insulation foam is also used to protect yourself from too much cold or too much hot. So there are, you know, they are placed inside the room in order to reduce the sound disturbances in order to protect yourself from a lot of heat or from a lot of cold. So basically these sound absorbers are used on a wide scale. Okay. And these sound absorbers are a big source of formaldehyde. Which causes pollution. Then next comes radon. Radon is a gas which is emitted naturally from soil. Now you will think that from where will soil come inside a home? So basically, it can come from a plant, it can come from the garden nearby. And once once this radon enters the indoor air pollution, if it is not able to go outside the home, then it can cause problems in your lungs. Okay, friends. So these were the different types of indoor air pollutions that I have discussed in this video friends. I hope this video will be liked by you. The Hindi version is already uploaded. If you really like this video, kindly share these videos with your friends. You can share my channel with your other friends. You can subscribe to it. You can follow me on Instagram. So thank you for watching this video friends. You can also leave your suggestions in the comment box below.